Hey, welcome back. I've made progress on the fuselage. I think the major fuselage panels are built now, and it's time to start thinking about the transition to the wing. And I wanted to do a video on this because I, I do this a little bit differently than I do the other panels. So this will be a slightly different technique. So let me hide the panels, and I'm going to show the shrink wraps, our, our base mesh. And looking bottom view, I'm going to create a line that follows this curve here. So let me create a plane, shrink it down, and I don't need those verts. Put one there there and I'm just gonna create this curve here I turn on my snapping to faces and we're just gonna put it right along here it doesn't have to be perfect this is really just giving the, um, the shrink wrap modifier some good ideas to where things go right give it enough detail close to where it needs to be and the shrink wrap tends to work better so I need a little bit of extra vertices here along the leading edge of the wing because it curves tightly. Right, let's take a look. All right, so it follows the curve pretty good. And we're just doing this panel here. And we want all of our stuff to kind of extrude past those edges so we can trim them back later. All right, so we turn off the magnet. And I'm going to take everything. I'll hit E, X, and hit S, X, 0. And let's bring it up so you can see it. I'm going to scale it down so it's a little flatter. So let's turn back on this and we'll go just GX. That went crazy. Let's not do that. All right. Let's see if I can actually. I just wanted to snap. All right. I just wanted to get close to the, the fuselage there. So let's do the similar thing on the right. We'll take this edge and we'll extrude it to the right. I'm going to scale it in the X axis. It's just outside this this line here. Let's take a look at it from the side. I want it to go up maybe halfway, but we'll need to add some more details to do that. So let's take a look at it. We want this to be up there. Somewhere we want that to be yeah, kind of there -ish. All right, and like I said, we're going to refine this as we go along, but we need to give the loop cut tool enough information to work with here. So a couple of verts there along the leading edge. And the next thing I want to do is I want to create some vertex groups to, to help control the loop cut. So we've got our defining edge here, and I want to select everything on the left-hand side and add that to a fuselage group. And then I want to do the same thing here on the right. And I want to add one called W for wing. I'm going to assign that. So let's create a couple of shrink wraps. Call this one W for wing. And we use the wing group. Is our wing shrink, which is this object. And I'll call this one F for fuselage. Choose the fuselage group. And we will choose the fuselage group. And you can see how that starts to snuggle down there. So as usual, I'm going to duplicate these and apply them so that the vertexes really do move close to the position they're supposed to be in. And at this point, we can start to refine our shape a little bit. So I want... I need more detail coming forward. So this panel, you can see, goes straight up here. So this piece here really should be kind of there-ish. Maybe we'll leave that as the wing root. And maybe I'll just extrude up, straight up here. And I'll just make a face here for now, just to, to help me visualize what's happening here. And turn this back on and just have this snap to the face there. So that's a little better. So you can see that we're starting to transition between the fuselage and the wing. All right, so the next thing to do is to go back into bottom view, and I want to cut out the pieces we don't need, and then retopologize uh, this to make it uh, you know, quads and to uh, give it a good flow to fit into this space. So I'm going to cut out here. And this just helps me visualize parts that I need and parts that I don't need. It kind of defines the edges of the part. All right, I'm starting to get that piece. Now, the topology is not great because I've got some triangles and bad spacing. So uh, I'm going to put it in fast forward. I'm going to clean this up, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and you can see that I've retopologized this. Uh, I've kept 
this scene, this is the original line we drew, the curve line that kind of defines the blend between the two, fuselage and the wing. So it was important to keep that and then kind of build my topology off of that. So I've got, um, I kind of do it by sections that makes sense. So this section here is nicely spaced out in quads. This section I kind of isolated and did it as quads. And then this piece I did as a unit. And then this center section here, I did as a kind of a separate unit. Um, the idea is that, you know, the, the requirements of this section and this section are different than the requirements of this section here because these are just simple grids. Uh, this one requires a little bit more work here at the transition. I needed to have some somewhat parallel edges here to go with this this defining edge and that, uh, so that when we do the shrink wraps, it has a nice topology along that fillet. All right, so we smooth that. And let's put a subdivision on it. It's looking pretty good. Um, just check that in matte cap. All right. Nice and smooth, and we'll, we'll add thickness to this later, but for the time being, we're just gonna leave it as is. And the next piece then is the uh, adjacent upper wing piece. And for this, I'm going to use the uh, wing base mesh as a starting point, because I got a curve here that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna duplicate that like I did before. I'm gonna separate it. And I'm gonna move that to my scene collection temporarily, and I'm going to turn off my shrinks. And I don't need any of this stuff. And I don't need this intersection. And let's move this out. I just want to kind of outside the fuselage line there. And from the top view, I want it. So here's the panel line for the wing root. So I want it outside that because we're you know, building everything a little big. I'm going to go E, Z, just scale that straight up. And I'm going to go E, Y that way just to get it to go forward. And I'm going to put a seam here just as a reference marker because um, this is going to be the fuselage shrink side and this is going to be the wing shrink side. And I want the transition here to kind of go around this corner. So I'm going to put a piece there, take that out there. So now we've got an edge flow going this way around the fuselage and you know, we may do another one here. We'll see how things shrink down. So by putting that edge there, I can go into face mode, hit three, so I'm doing faces and hit L, select everything. And I'm going to create the fuselage shrink group, uh, group again. And then I'm going to hit L and add my wing group. Just like that. And now we can go create our shrink wraps. Call this one W for wing. Choose the wing and wing shrink. And duplicate it. Call this one T or F for fuselage. Use the F group and use the fuselage shrink. Use the fuselage shrink. There we go. All right, so you can see how that, those two together kind of tighten things up for us. Okay. I also want to bring this down because it's going to have to mate with that front piece. So I might as well start with it close. Doesn't have to be perfect yet, but just trying to get stuff close to where it needs to be. And we'll do the duplicate and apply just to get those vertices close to where they need to be. And then from the side view, I'm just going to, oh, we don't even need this section at all because that's where the panel ends. So I'll get rid of that. And we're going to cut out you know, roughly there-ish. So we don't want those. You know, I'm gonna turn this off so they're not distorting things. And then I'm gonna do another cut roughly there. That's where the top of that panel is. And get rid of those vertices. So we've got that guy kind of squared off there. Next thing to do again is to clean up our topology. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Maybe add one there just to retain that. Going to move these all down, line them up. Yeah, we're gonna mate these together, so we're gonna have to again we're gonna have to make sure we have the right number of lines here. What did I say? I said I needed nine, I think, here. Yes, yeah, so we need nine there. How many we got? Seven. So two more. And I need more definition along the leading edge of the wing because we want that bend to happen. And right, so we'll need something there. And I might space these out a bit too. Got a better distribution of edges there. All right, so I've added some edge loops here to help with the contours. Um, it's a good time to double check to make sure that our vertex groups didn't get messed up because of the, the retopology. So let's take a look at them. Yeah, so you can see how they've, they've, they've spread out. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of them and I'm going to reassign them. So that's the wing, and that's the fuselage. Did I mess that up? All right, we're good. All right, so now now we've got our quads all 
spaced out here. I've got enough topology along the leading edge to get a good curve. I'm going to reapply, duplicate, and apply my shrink wraps, and it should make it snuggle down pretty nicely. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. We take a look at these individually. Looking pretty smooth. That's always good for wings. So I'm going to join these together now. Make it one piece and try to line. Next thing to be to line these edge loops up roughly in place. So I'm not stretching stuff too much because I wanted to have a few more edge loops close to the wing root. And I'm just going to bring this one out and we'll trim it down later. So let's go into wireframe and we'll just start merging our verts. All right, so we got a nice transition there. Our, our fillet line goes cleanly around here. So that's a good defining edge to have. All right, so, and because we use the same vertex groups, they should be, still make sense. So there's the wing and there's the fuselage. And if we go back to our shrink wraps. All right, so I say it's a pretty good start to that leading edge. The next step would be to use the, um, the technique of the, uh, the cut tools that we've been using. Um, you know, these these panels here to, to make sure that my edges between adjacent panels mate properly. Um, since I've already shown how to do that and how to create panel thicknesses, I think I will end this tutorial here. And then future tutorials will be more uh, details about the wings as I find things that are interesting or different to talk about. All right, I will see you in the next one, I hope.